G'day friends, good to see your smiling faces. Vakey here. I'm on my way to uh, a friend's stag do or bucks party or whatever you call it these days. And we're starting the day at a place called Lumber Punks. And basically what it is, it's an ax throwing place. We're gonna throw axes of all sorts. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I've just arrived. I'm gonna get some sweet, sweet slow-mo of these axes being thrown. Um, before I go, I had an amazing chat with my brother-in-law this week about a concept and mindset that I want to share with you guys. It's around who you are versus what you do and where you place your identity. It's such a simple thought and it makes so much sense when you think about it and talk about it. And if we can get it right, the peace and the freedom we'll get in life will just be amazing. So I want to share that with you, but I'm going to go throw some axes first. I'm going to get some sweet, sweet slow motion of this uh, axe throwing, so I can't wait. And then uh, I'll talk to you soon. That was amazing. I enjoyed that a lot. In fact, I'm seriously considering installing a axe throwing lane at my office. There's room for it. There's room. I think we can make it happen. That would be insane, eh? Having an axe throwing lane at your office. Whenever you need to release some tension, you just biff an axe at a wall. Brilliant. Brilliant. So it's Monday afternoon now. The axe throwing was on Saturday, so this is being shot way late. I actually tried to shoot this piece yesterday and failed miserably. Just trying to overthink the concept. It's a very simple but very profound concept, and I think I'm just trying to over, over communicate it. So I'm going to try something different. I've got some paper and pen. I'm going to put the camera up high and try and try and shoot it down on the paper and I'll draw it out and that way there's some visuals for you to see so it'll make more sense and make it easier for me to explain as well. So let me put you up there and we'll give this a shot. So super simple concept, where do you place your identity and what you do or in who you are? Can you guys see me? So if you place your identity and what you do, wherever you place your identity that's your input and then the other side will be the output. So who you are will become a result of what you do. So ideally you want to flip this around. We want to go, I find my identity in who I am and not in what I do. Identity. And this is where I input. I input into who I am, not what I do. And then what I do becomes the outcome or kind of the output as a result of who I am. Input equals pressure, which is a good thing. Output equals stress, not a good thing. Why do things always make so much sense when you're talking about them in the moment and discussing them and then when you try and retell it or like explain it, it just doesn't come out the same. But I hope that makes sense to some degree and help someone. It really helped me. Think about it though, when you meet someone new, what do they ask you? They don't ask you, hey, who are you? And then you go, I'm strong, I'm independent, I'm a good friend, I'm faithful, I'm trustworthy. No, that's not how it goes. What they ask you is, you know, you introduce yourself and they go, so what do you do? And it's so easy and so natural to just place our identity and what we do. I'm Vakey the coach. I'm Vakey the gym owner. I'm Vakey the videographer. It's like, no, 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 that's not who I am. Yes, I do that stuff. But what I am, I am passionate. I am trustworthy. I'm loyal. I'm friendly. That's who I am. And then, yes, I am a coach or I do own a gym, but that's not where my identity is placed. So that was the first realization I had is that I have to start putting my identity in who I am and not what I do. The second thing is input versus output. One thing my brother-in-law explained to me is that input equals pressure. In a good sense, pressure is what produces the gold. Output equals stress. If you focus on the output, uh, you'll get stressed because you can't change the output until you change the input. So, so it's important to apply pressure to improve but you want to make sure you apply that pressure to the right input. Not the input into what you do, but the input into who you are. And then the outcome, hey, hey. And then the output, what you do, will take care of itself. Anyway, 
I'm gonna stop trying to explain that. I'm sure I got my point across somehow. I've gotta go and upload this and then film something else for tomorrow. So I'm gonna say goodbye and make sure you hit that like button if you like this. How good was that little axe throwing video? You gotta like it, surely. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. That's my next goal. We're around the 120, 122 mark, which is awesome. For everyone that watches, I love you. Thank you so much and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.